problems. Okay, good class. So today we're looking at exponents and sets. Today we're looking at rationalizing the denominator. This is um, examples for exercise 1.10. Is that correct? And 1.10 is exercise on page? 20. You sure? Okay. All right. So these examples. An example is on page. Mr. Bodin. 19, yes, miss. Looking for Nita to make her issue perhaps there. No, miss, she's with. Who is she with? Yes, she's not in our grade. I'm with the grade 11 now, miss. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Thank you. Okay, so um, we're looking at rationalizing the denominator. It is usually more accurate and more con convenient to work with expressions with the numerator and not the denominator is an irrational number. To convert an expression to such a form, we rationalize the denominator. So when you look at the calculator and times, when we have 1 over the square root, 1 over the square root of 2, and then you get root 2 over 2. No? That is what we're going to look at today. Okay, how do we rationalize the denominator? So the calculator won't give you the the answer in, um, in uh, radical form or in uh, third form. My apologies for the So what we need to know is that first thing. Is the baker in grade twelve can please report to the office? Nita to make us to the office as well as Namani Shabri. Okay, so we know that the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. And we also know that the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 2 is 1. Okay. So write the following with the rational denominators is our instruction. Okay. So here we've got 1 over the square root of 2. So what we do is... We take 1 over the square root of 2 and I multiply this by a number 1. If I multiply this by a number 1, I don't change the value of anything. Not so. So the number 1 I choose in this case would be the square root of 2 multi over the square root of. Okay. Why do I do that? Because the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. And 1 multiplied by root 2. Right, do you guys understand? Is there any confusion? Let's look at number two. We have 14 over the square root of 2. Alright, so what do you think we're going to multiply this by? Again, the root 2 over root 2? No. We multiply this by root 7 over square root 7. What square root 7 multiplied by square root 7? 7. 40 times root 7? 14 square root 7. What do you notice now? Seven going to seven one, seven going to fourteen. So that would simply be two root seven over one, which is two root seven. Okay. Any questions? Any confusion? No. Did you get number five? You got 5 over the square root of 5. 5 over the square root of 5. So what are we going to do there? Multiply. 
multiplied by? Multiply that by? Square root 5? Over square root 5. Why do we do that? So that we can rationalize the denominator. You guys understand? Why do you rationalize the denominator? So square root 5 times square root 5 is? What's 5 times square root 5? 5, five root 5. Now what can be done here? Cancel what? 5 going to 5 what? 5 going to 5. So what are we going to do? Is there any confusion? Hmm? Not yet. Until we give you a test, must no? Then he says, if you haven't seen these things in your life. Maybe let's look at number four. Number four, we got five over two root plus the root three. Five over two plus root. So what, what are we going to do here? Multiply it by? Root 5 over root, uh, sorry, root 3 over root 3. Do you want to agree with that? Yes, let's see. So 5 times root 3 is 5 root 3. 2 times root 3 is 2 root 3 plus 3. So root 3 times root 3 is 3. Have I got rid of the third in the denominator? No. Have I rationalized the denominator? So that is not the right step. We'll multiply this by what we call its conjugate pair. Okay. And what is the conjugate pair of 2 plus root 3? 2 minus root 3. And the top? 2 minus root 3. Why must the top and the bottom be the same? To make it 1. Okay. So let's look here. If you got 2 plus square root 3 multiplied by 2 plus uh, 2 minus square root 3. What can I do here? Multiply the first and the? Not so. So it's going to be 4 minus 3. You guys got it? So let's do that quickly. Multiply the first and the last. You'll always see I leave that the last. Okay? Don't multiply that immediately. So it's 5 into 2 minus root 3 over. What is four, uh, 2 times 2? Four. 4 minus root 3 times root 3? Three. And 4 minus 3 is? 1. one. So it's going to be 5 into 2 minus root 3 over 1. And I can just get rid of that bracket. Leaves you with 10 minus 5. So you're probably thinking, why did I not cancel that out? Um, multiply out the 5 straight away, or the 8 straight away? Because if that could have been su in, um, simplified into that 5, then that means you say I must factorize again. So sometimes this number in the denominator simplifies with this factor outside, with the multiple outside. You guys understand? Yes. But if you're that kind of girl that wants to multiply out and then factorize again, by all means, okay? You go for it. Any confusion there? But you will all tell yourselves, but if I substitute or some punches into a calculator, I get them the answer out. So why am I going through this effort? Because this question should would read without the use of a calculator. But it's nice to test and see if you, you're on the right track. Okay? People, let's look at number 5. That's the last one. You got 4 over the square root of 7 minus 2. Got it? Look here, no? Okay. 4 over the square root of 7 minus 2. What are we going to do here? We're going to multiply it, yes? 
for the conjugate B again. Okay. So uh, what will the conjugate B be? Root 7 plus 2. You see this was my plus, that has to be minus. This is minus, there goes plus. So is it root 7? So what can I do now? Multiply the first and the? So that's going to give you root 7 times root 7? 7. Minus. 2 times 2? And that is 4 into root 7 plus? What is 4 minus 7? 3. So can that 3 cancel as 4? No. So I can multiply that out in the next step as well. It's going to be 3. I multiply this in. I now get 4 root 7 plus. Okay. Is there any confusion? So with that, you should be able to do exercise 1.10. Okay. Please do the odd numbers for me. Any problems, you can bring it to me now. Yeah.